Hi everybody, it is Julie. Welcome back to Nobody's Beauty Guru. And today I am here with a Stars and Strikes. Today is hair care. And I have some stuff to talk about. My desk is kind of full right here. We're gonna start with the stars because I have a ton of them. We'll get to a couple of the strikes that I have at the end. First up, although not cruelty free, I did just finish these up, is the Redken Curvaceous Curls Cream Shampoo and Conditioner. Conditioner still has a little bit left in it, but the shampoo was gone. This works really, really well for my curls. It's also color safe and I just really enjoy it. It's not gonna be something that I repurchase because it's not cruelty free. If you are not somebody who worries about cruelty free beauty, then this might be a good choice for you if you have curly hair. I think they've repackaged or renamed it, but this entire line, I had their styling cream, I've had their frizz control spray and both of these. I liked the entire line. This is not what I wanted. I wanted my Olaplex, which I thought this was Olaplex. So I'll just talk about Olaplex. Olaplex is something that I use on my hair. It is super restorative. It helps, I don't know what it does scientifically, but it does a fantastic job of repairing your damaged hair. I use this every now and then right after I get my hair professionally colored to help with the bleach damage. And it is phenomenal. You can also ask your stylist to mix the Olaplex in with your coloring or with a deep treatment at your salon. It's fantastic. I got mine on Amazon. It was a two pack and I have never regretted spending the money on it. It is a little pricier for a tiny little bottle, which is why I thought this was the Olaplex because it's small, but totally, totally worth it. So give that a try if you've got really color damaged hair. Then I use my Overtone. This is the Go Deep Overtone Deep intensity or color intensity, rich hydration, vibrant purple weekly treatment. This is what I use as a hair mask because it is bright purple. And this is what I slather on mainly on my roots and then I'll pull it down through my hair. This is a conditioning hair mask with purple color. It comes in any color. Like this company has a ton of colors. This brightens up my hair, touches up my roots, and acts as a conditioner. A lot of the times people will just put straight dye into their conditioner and mix it in and make a mask like this. The problem is straight color is not always as hydrating. It can really dry out your hair. I do that as well, but this is what I do the majority of the time to keep my color looking bright. And it's been something that I find really works well. Now I have a couple of these already in store, but I do wanna try Arctic Fox when I'm done with this one. I haven't tried that one yet and it is on my to try list. I also have the Ion Color Studios. I have a giant one of these in my shower and a couple of these as backups. Color Defense After Color Sealer. So this one locks in hair color. This is a conditioner and you can put this on. It's paraben free, it seals in moisture and shine and helps prolong the life of your color. So this is what I use for a conditioner when I am not using anything else. I have one of these that actually stays in the shower, but this is what I use every other time, or I'll put the color only on my roots and this on the rest of my hair, and it helps seal your hair follicles, keep the color vibrant and looking good. I really like this stuff, so I have a couple of those all over. Virgin coconut oil, and I use this on my skin, I use this on my hair, um, just to hydrate my, my roots, or not on my roots, to hydrate the ends. I'll just slather my whole hair in coconut oil and sit with it for a while and then get a shower. I really, really like it. It works for a ton of different stuff. It's gonna probably show up in my body lotion <laughs> strikes and stars as well, because it's really, really good. This is my Moroccan Oil Intense Curl Cream for curly hair, which helps with frizz. This one is right about here, and I just use a pump of this after I get out of the shower, and I put this in after I've like big wide tooth combed through my hair, and this works super, super well. I love it. It leaves my hair smelling good and feeling good, and it's phenomenal. Also use my Miracle 10 leave-in conditioner spray, and this is a go-to. Every time I get out of the shower, I'll spray this through my hair, brush it out, and then go in with this and with this, which is a oil. Now this is the Josie Moran Argan Oil Light, but any hair oil or oil in general that's safe for your face, I'll use as well. And this one normally goes just through my ends and I just like rub it in through the ends of my hair to give them a little bit more moisture because my roots and the top is actually looking okay lately, but the bottoms are still a little dry. I don't mess around with hydration on my hair, guys. Then I have my leave-in defining cream gel and this is from Briogeo 
and this is the Curl Charisma. Again, a specific curl thing, and this is a great moisturizer, but it also does defrizz and give a little bit of hold. I really enjoy this. I'll use just about a quarter size, rub it in my palms, and then work it through all of my hair while it's still damp. And then I'll give that a minute or two to just settle in and use this. And again, just a quarter size of this. This is the Briogeo Curl Charisma Rice Amino Quinoa Frizz Control Gel. This is not like your typical 90s gel. This leaves your hair feeling really light. It's what I have in my hair today. I can touch my hair. It's not crunchy. It's not firm. It's very, very soft, very, very hydrated, and I love it. These are both $20 each though, and they go pretty quickly. I've actually used this one, which I can see through the packaging, I'm right here. This one has lasted me through two of these, but this one's full. So I used a full one of this before I was done this. I use a little bit more of this than the other one, because I used this one up in my roots to really let my hair have a little bit more hold and then just work it through the ends a little bit. I think they give me overall, these products give me a really great feel to my hair. I can get like a good solid two, three days out of my hair without it looking crappy, which is amazing to me. Those are all of my stars. I know it's a lot, but I also have a couple strikes that I want to talk about. So we're going to get into those. A lot works in my hair, honestly. As long as it has no sulfates, so it doesn't strip my color and it moisturizes my hair, I'm usually good with it. I do have a couple things that I did not love. A lot of these are from subscription samples, so I will just show you these right off the bat. The Way Hair Care Wave Spray. This is garbage. This left my hair feeling so horrific. Brittle, dry, straw hair. It was hateful absolutely hateful also i had another one of these this one's still sealed up but this is the soft wave salt spray um, my hair does not need sea salt in it at all those are definitely not for me anything with sea salt or any kind of spray like that just does not work in my hair also not for me is any kind of dry shampoo I don't have oily roots. My hair doesn't get any kind of crazy. If anything, I just need a little bit of water and maybe a little bit of a curl defining cream in my hands and I run that through and I'm good to go. So a dry shampoo serves no purpose for me. And typically with my color of hair, no matter how much I work it in, it looks horrendous. I know a lot of people that will spray it in and then finger comb and then brush it. I can't brush my hair once it's dry. I let this air dry and then I don't touch it again. So for me, it just doesn't work. It leaves a weird cast and I don't like them. So any kind of dry shampoo, which again, I keep around just in case, but I don't like. Last up for my strikes are two mousses. Now this is the catwalk. This is a curl collection. So this is curl mousse. And then this one is an extra body sculpting foam by Paul Mitchell. Any kind of mousse like this, further dries out my hair because of like the alcohol in it or whatever's in these and leaves my hair feeling crunchy and firm and brittle and I just can't use these. I keep them on hand in case I ever have a day where my hair is crazy out of control or I know I need ridiculous hold but in general these are more damaging to my hair than they're worth and just no good for me. So these typically do not work in my hair for the kind of hair that I want. I don't want a stiff, crunchy hair. I like it to be loose and feel nice when you put your hands on it. I hope you guys have found some information from this. If you have drastically color treated and curly hair that needs a ton of moisture and TLC, I'm interested to see what everybody else really enjoys and likes and probably hopefully get some recommendations for hair like mine. Anyway, that has been it for my stars and strikes for hair care. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye guys.